and then I'm gonna take a blue shade so I think I'm gonna take I'm so sorry Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be creating a rainbow eye look. Yes, um, it is Pride Month, so I thought, you know what, I haven't done a rainbow eye look in a while, so I thought, you know what, we'd sit down together and do one today, and I'm excited. So yeah, I'm going to be recreating a look from, it's both from Heather Lip Makeup Artistry, I'll put her photo on the screen. Um, I'm just not doing the bits in the middle, I'm just going to keep it on the eye. So yeah, we're going to be using the Beauty Bay Matte Palette today. I'm going to bring a shimmer into it on the lid, I'm just not too sure what shimmer as of yet. So we're just going to stick with the Bright Matte Palette first. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so I've literally just primed my lids, I used the Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade number 2. So jumping into the Bright Matte Palette look at the shades we're gonna take a purple shade first um so i think we're gonna take purple power which is this shade down here there's like every shade in this palette that you ever need to create a rainbow eye look i'm just gonna start off by packing this on like this Taking it in like a rounded kind of shape, like that. Not too bothered about blending out. Yep. taken it like quite high up to my brow I've also taken it too far on this side but it's fine we'll be able to make it work I think I'm going to take the shade up from it I'm going to take the shade Pacific Dreams which is this one here I'm sorry if you hear any cows mooing like that I'm just going to pack this next to the purple basically doing the same thing I'm then going to take a green shade next I'm going to take Granny Smith, which is this green shade here. Um, I'm just gonna keep packing it on just next to the blue like I have been doing. it's kind of coming together a little bit better now I feel like one eye look definitely looks better than the other though I'm gonna go into a little bit of slice of lime which is the green shade next to the the, the granny smith shade that we just used I'm just gonna pop this next to Granny Smith shade. I'm 
And then I'm going to go into the shade Hello Sunshine, which is this yellow shade here. Really nice. starting to bring in the yellows now and then going to take the shade I'm going to take heat wave or tangerine dream I think tangerine dream this one here I'm going to start to blend this out a little bit. Yes, I'm going to take the Poppin' Poppy shade, which is this one here. Um, my camera just cut off, so when it cut off, I decided to just go ahead and blend, like build these shades again, blend them out, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to go into the Poppin' Poppy shade now. I don't know what brush to take, but I'm thinking maybe this one, yeah. I don't want to take it like too far out but I still want it to be kind of far out if that makes sense I did put a bit of extra primer towards the out part I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that tangerine dream shade, just like buff it into it, and make it look a little bit more like seamless. And the yellow shade as well, the Hello Sunshine shade. Just a tiny bit. Other than the hour to part, I actually quite like this, but again, I think it's just because I haven't got my base on, so it's a bit like difficult for me to decide what I'm doing with the outer part, but I'm going to do my base and then I'll sort out the outer part, but yeah. Okay, so like for the inner portion, I want to put like a sparkly kind of shade. So I do have this press pigment from Beauty Bay. This is part of their Utopia collection. I kind of want to take this. This is in the shade Air. If you haven't seen my like, Utopia videos, I have done two of them now. I did like a whole video testing out the eyeshadow. I tested out some of these pressed pigments. But I decided to pick up another one because in my video I only picked up two. And I thought, you know, let's just get a cheeky little other one. But this is the shade Air. And oh my god, it is so pretty. Look at that. Ugh, I'm going to take a little bit on my finger. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to pop it on my lid just next to the purple shade. I might need to take a brush. For the more inner part. I'm just going to try a little brush. 
I did try a brush with this the other day and it didn't pick it up too well. Um, but it could just be me. I literally love it. Um, I kind of want it to be like a little bit lighter. So... I've just got the AO Coral Eye palette from Beauty Bay. I'm not too sure whether this is back in stock yet or not. Um, I'm going to take Sweet Candy, I think, which is this shade here. It's like a highlighter, but it's also like... Can you get the nice shade? I'm just going to top it on top a little bit, just to like... Lighten the inner portion up. Give it a bit of something extra. I love it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just go ahead do the rest of my base whatnot off camera and then I'll be back with the finished look so yeah I'll be right back okay guys so I am back this is the finished look what do you guys think let me know let me know just quickly I did just jump into the the AO Coralie palette some more and um, I know that I did use the sweet candy shade but I did dip in and use I did dip in and I used the Mars shade just because I felt like it was more red toned than the one in the Beauty Bay matte palette and I did use a bit more of the purple as well because I felt like that purple was a bit more pigmented than the one from the Bright Mattes palette and I thought it would kind of go better so I did just use them two shades um, but yes and also for my brows I did just use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the 24 hour brow setter. I've been loving Benefit products at the minute. I tried to do more of like a natural fluffy brow. It worked better on this side. Like this side was more structured than this side. But yeah, we live and we learn. This brow isn't my best brow either. This one is, this is their one today. So yeah. Um, so yes. Please let me know what you think of today's look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun watching it. Yes, I really like it. I haven't done a rainbow look in like a while and I kind of wanted to do one. So yes. Anything else that I'm wearing on my face, I'll of course link in the description box down below. And of course, if you did like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would have really helped me out. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.